Hi guys, I'm Sam Quigley. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix this Morley Bad Horsey VI1 special effects pedal. So today we're going to need a soldering iron. We're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. A one quarter nut driver or wrench. And a Morley photoresistor. So the first thing we have to do is remove these four screws. Okay, so I've gotten all four screws out. You can see this one's out. That one, this one, and this one. So now we can flip it over on the pedal. Yeah, you should make sure by this step that your battery is not attached and you have no cords going into it. You can stick your finger through here and pull off, taking the back cover off. It should just pop right off. There shouldn't be anything else holding it down. And you can see the inside of the circuit board. So what we're dealing with today is this one photoresistor. Here, let me give you a closer shot. This right here. So you can tell by the black face it's worn down compared to this one, which is a lot lighter color. That's because when you push down the pedal, this tab right here has been wearing on the front of it. So for those of you who do not know, the Morley C Vi VAI-1 um, is actually controlled by light. So these are little LED light bulbs and this tab has holes in it. So it makes a lot of sounds based on the amount of light that gets to these little sensors, the photoresistors, and that's what we are going to replace today. Okay, so our next step is to remove the four bolts, nuts here, that are holding the circuit board on. Now that we are done with that, we need to use this other wrench. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that earlier. It is a 7 16 to take off the covers here. Okay, now comes the fun part. We need to squeeze this foam. And pry the circuit board up through it. Okay, so now you should be able to take out the circuit board. Okay, so now we can get rid of this big metal piece that actually makes up the pedal. What we're going to be working with today is this circuit board. So this piece right here that is soldered onto this photoresistor, which we need to replace. I'll show you again. Okay. difference between this and this which is a new one so now I'm going to warm up my soldering iron so that I can take out this photoresistor okay I've got my spider hooked up here it's not absolutely necessary but it's very helpful for when you're trying to hold circuit boards. So I can use my soldering iron, which I have here, to heat up these contact points.
Okay, I'm pulling on the other side as I do this. And now we have successfully removed the bad photoresistor. Okay, now I'm going to attempt while pushing through to solder the new photoresistor in place. Uh, sorry guys, you couldn't see that, could you? It's right here. off the tip, turning down and surveying to see if I did a good job or not. And it is looking like I did. Okay, I'm going to take wire clippers and clip the excess wire of each photoresistor. Lead. Okay, now we need our big metal piece back again. Now that we have all that done, we can flip it this side up, align those four holes, the four bolts, you'll probably need to squeeze this a little bit so that it goes in. Work around the foam. You gotta be careful because there's a little LED right here. You don't want to break it off. And bingo. Okay, now we'll need our nut driver again. It's a quarter inch. Put one into it. And just tighten it back up. Only snug, you do not want to break the circuit board. That I cannot help you with. And don't forget, we need these two. The whole object of this is to be able to play. And it's kind of hard to do that if you have nowhere to plug into. Okay, so now we're at the last step, putting the cover back on. And we are done. You're fully functional again, morally pedal.